guys how are you doing today so i am going to be going over the ordinary 100 percent organic cold press moroccan argan oil uh this is specifically the used formula for hair and skin um now i'm not really the type of person that would use two in one type of thing uh the most well known two in one thing would be the shampoo conditioner um that you just have to use one so you're not using a shampoo separately and conditioner separately there's this whole two in one thing and and then um i know some dermatologists do give this cream thing that is for both the scalp and the face so basically the hair and face um i know that um at some point i don't know if they still sell it but head and shoulders came out with a two-in-one thing which was like the shampoo and the conditioner in one so i'm not really a huge fan of those type of things because i felt like they never worked um and it's not really helpful today to say the least um but i don't know why i felt like let me try the ordinary this was i actually bought this back but back in november i believe when i bought the other ordinary products and anything that came along with it from ulta and i don't know why i just decided to go for it even though it is for both hair and skin um now uh i went over the product review other day so i'm gonna my review for that one is based kind of goes hand in hand with that one which is basically this um pericone md um that is basically a face moisturizer and um what and the reason why i'm saying it kind of goes hand in hand with that is specifically because um that product i mentioned in the review is that it wasn't really the best product when it comes to interest uh, intense hydration like i mentioned um so i'm doing this like i would tone use a toner then the serum and now we use that on top so i was like you know what let me do it do this as an extra step because this is just laying around in my room and i never really used it um at some point i just completely forgot that this even existed because before then um uh, beforehand when i bought this i already had like a crazy intense um, skincare routine that I was trying trying out that was basically uh, this um, ordinary cream that I bought um, and then I had the um, the daytime or the nighttime uh, what's that company called um, um, oh my god so my tip of my thong now um, that purple Okay, so basically I had this two or three different companies I was using. So I was using the serum and then there was like the under eye lotion, toner, uh, serum. And then there was something that I got from the ordinary as well, which is like you use it after the serum, but before the moisturizer. And then I was using the moisturizer like for the daytime and then there was the nighttime. So it was always so much going on. I feel like this was really... um not going to help in that sense so when i was using the pericone md i was just like looking around the table you know and i was like oh wait i have this so let me try this out um so it did help a lot um with pericone md because like i said it didn't really do the moisturizing part as it should um, again, I'm not really a huge fan of putting anything which is oil based on my face to begin with because I feel like it doesn't really help. So in that case, I it, it's really is helpful helpful in regards to the Pericon MD intense moisturizing moisturizing ones I'm using, and hence why I'm using it on my face in that case. Um, but as far as my forehead is concerned even if i don't have this on like the last two days i feel like my forehead has been feeling really oily so um i do have the serum that i did review a while ago which is oil based so i will not use that and this one at the same time um i definitely do not recommend putting this on your face if you already have oily skin type um now if you're using water based and then using this 
it will be helpful. It doesn't really collide, and I noticed that it still works pretty well for the skin. But I think I'm almost done with Pericone MD, so I'm going to start using this on my face once I'm done with Pericone MD. Uh, I think it should last me another three, four days, I'm, I'm guessing. Um, now, with the hair. Um, now, I don't mind putting it on my hair. Um, when it comes to oil base, because my hair does tend to get well, my skin is relatively on the dry side, but my skin works well with water based. Uh, it never worked really well with um oily base. However, with my hair, especially from the ears down, um, it's extremely dry and it does tend to get frizzy. So it works. The oily base products does work well with my hair. Um, Moroccan oil, argan oil, like the ones that you can get from the companies, um, like those, the ones that come in the green bottles, they work pretty wonder, wonderful. So honestly speaking, with my hair, on it, it actually was in a better state of health. So if I have to continue using this. Um, as you can tell, I really haven't used much of it yet, but it actually does work more for my hair. Um, if I have to really use a Moroccan argan oil, the company itself, Moroccan Oil com Company, the one that comes in the bluish uh, bottles, um, already works wonders. So once I'm done with that, I think I'm just going to stick with that company specifically. Um, the Moroccan Oil and Argan Oil Companies, um, instead of just really using this. Um, I feel like this is just paying for the brand at this point, honestly, but, but if you have to use this, uh, I do not recommend using on your face if you have oily skin texture. Um, if your hair is already oily, like from your scalp to the roots in general, don't use it. Um, if your hair is extremely dry, go ahead, use it. I do recommend it. What I would do is I would put a few drops on my hands, rub it against each other. I will first put it from ears below. Um, and then I wouldn't put a lot on my scalp because if you, on my hands, because if you do, your hair gets really, really, really oily and you want to disregard that at all costs. Um, and then from there, your hand will be almost dry and then that's when you just put it over your scalp um so it kind of goes a little bit on your scalp so basically uh, the way you would do it for the hair is that you would put it in damp clean hair daily or as needed so obviously you're not really gonna be washing your hair every day so you don't really need it every day i personally don't use this every day because i will feel like it goes a lot uh, and then a few drops on, on the entire face once a day or as needed again if you're gonna use it on your face i don't recommend doing it way too often now uh now the only times i would recommend using this is like the morning at the afternoon for your skincare routine i don't know how you guys do this with one hand hold on guys all right there we go whoops all right now i just hope it doesn't fall Okay, so this is just like naturally the uh, the syringe that it comes with. Um, hold on, whoops. I know, I don't know how you guys do it. So all you just have to do is to press this top part right here once in and it's already dropping great but once you do that it will come in and then put a few drops in your hands i wouldn't say go too crazy with it um however um let me show you guys how it looks it kind of does look like an oil based one if you take it out i don't want to take it out not completely because i know But it is, like, you can tell it's, like, oil-based to begin with. But, yeah. Like, honestly speaking, if I'm saying, if your skin were, like, my final thoughts on this would be more or less. Is that if your skin works pretty, like, if you feel like you do need, like, an oil base before where you moisturize your skin. Like, your serum has to be oil-based or your cleanser, the face, the makeup remover has to be um, oil-based. 
because now that you know the water based and is, is really popular and a few of them do have like oil based like the sephora brand i don't know if they're still selling the oil based one that's why i knew that my well actually i remember using an oil, oil based face wash and that's when i was like okay never again and then at the time i was like 11 ish maybe and then i did not use an oil based anything until i was like probably 18 19 and that was the sephora oil based makeup remover right now we have that cleansing water thing that you use um from garnier um so after that i just started like i used water based sephora products and that's from where i knew i like okay the water base will be good used that water uh, oil based once regretted it and then now i'm 27 and now i have two products that are oil based and i kind of really not a huge fan of putting that on my face either um so yeah now if it works like i always say um that everybody's skin and hair are is, is the same so everybody will have a different skincare routine uh hair care routine and everybody wouldn't have the same reaction hence what i'm saying is that if you have oily extremely oily hair and and or um oily skin this is definitely not for you it doesn't really mention like which skin type it is for but even if it did mention it i will still say that it's not necessary that it will still work for you again because everybody who has dry skin still will have different skincare routine and will have different reactions um now if you have acne prone i i probably wouldn't i, I can't really answer that part but i don't think all base would be the best but then again if you meet with a dermatologist or if you tried out that beforehand that oil base did not work for you then don't try it at all um if your skin is extremely dry then it's definitely worth it to see if it works for your skin um and if your hair is dry i already like i mentioned it did work for me um and it's helpful so but i'm not gonna use this on my on my skin specifically uh, because I feel that like it's going to be too much and I think it might be messing up with my pores because um, certain oils, like I think the only oil that I would be okay with but I haven't tried yet um, to put on my skin is coconut oil because I heard a lot of people saying that coconut oil did work for their skin. But then again, it's like I mentioned, it's a very skin type is different. Um, so this particular oil did not work Um it's just not good for my skin, I guess. I don't know. But other than that, I will specifically use this for the hair. And then I'm just going to continue using the Moroccan oil or the Argan oil on my hair um, once this is finished. So, yeah. Um, other than that, I'll be linking down both my Instagram pages down below. Make sure to follow them. Hit the subscribe button, the bell button. And I'll be back for more. Stay safe and stay tuned, guys.